Uh, Saturday night across the whole of the United States was the single busiest day for AMC since March of 2020. Uh, and mm -hmm. the New York DMA was the biggest market in the United States for AMC in its very first weekend opening. That's an example of pent up demand. What a successful weekend for us. And you can only imagine that that pent up demand will only explode more once you go to maybe 50% capacity. Adam, when are you hearing that may happen? Well, we understand that various municipalities and uh, larger governmental entities like states um, want to open cautiously, but we would expect that the capacity limits will grow pretty rapidly, especially with the incredible pace of vaccination in the United States. As you likely know, Liz, this week we should cross 100 million injections in arms. Uh, and it looks like we're doing, I don't know, 75 to 90 million injections a month now in the United States. President Biden said every American adult can get vaccinated by the end of May. Uh, clearly that means the capacity limits in movie theaters will rise. That's big. So you don't have any indication, say from the governor of, of New York, when you could see the bump up to 50%. I'm just pushing you on this because I'm very interested to know and I think it matters to shareholders. Well, we were like so delighted just to open. It's been 50 and a half weeks that we were closed in New York. But who's counting? You know, I think we're, <laughs> pardon me? <laughs> but who's counting? But who's counting? Every, every minute I count. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we opened at 25% of capacity. That number is going to grow. But, you know, that's not as big a problem as you might think. Remember that movie theaters are not sports stadiums or Broadway theaters that routinely are sold out. We're more like churches built for Easter Sunday. Uh, in 2019, pre-pandemic, AMC has sold more movie theater tickets than any other entity on the planet, only sold 17% of our available seats. We've got a lot of capacity. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, seat capacity at all. Box office grosses. There were just a couple of movies that were out that are either brand new or at least two weeks old. Raya and the Last Dragon. You know, the grosses were a little anemic nationwide. Uh, obviously, that one was at about 8.6 million. You have the second week of Tom and Jerry at 6.6 .6 million. There was the Tom Holland movie Chaos Walking. I mean, you didn't have a big blockbuster here. What happens well, when well, remember you a couple of things. Remember a couple of things. First of all, more than half of all movie theaters in the United States are still closed. By contrast, AMC is almost 90% open, but we have about twice as many theaters open as the rest of the industry uh, combined. Um, the, uh, the next point is, uh, we're, you know, some people said we're in the new car business and to sell new cars, you need new cars in the showrooms. There have only been a half a dozen major movies released in the last right. year. Right. Uh, we have so many blockbuster movies that were delayed and deferred from 2020 into 2021. Once we're, we're going to have movies uh, this month and in April and in May, but wait till you see what happens in the movie business between Memorial Day weekend and the 4th of July weekend. I don't know about you, but I am so excited that A Quiet Place 2 has been released by Paramount early. I'm so excited that F9, the latest Fast and Furious movie, is coming out from Universal uh, uh, just in a, Maverick, a couple of months' time. You know. I mean, when Top Gun Maverick comes with Tom Cruise, I, every everything I hear is that movie is spectacular. And it's going to be like that like every week for the rest of 2021, we're going to see one major title well, after another. That's a very different scenario. Uh, plus, by then, by this end of May, June, July period, uh, the number of Americans who we vaccinated, right now we don't even have 20% of the U.S. public that's been vaccinated. By so 4th of July weekend, yeah. the whole of the population is going to be vaccinated that wants one from your mouth to God's ears. I gotta ask you about the 
those wild, <laughs> wacky Reddit room kids who picked of all stocks yours and GameStop. This, of course, had nothing to do with anything you guys were involved in. You know, they saw that you were a heavily shorted stock. They decided from this Wall Street Bets subroom on Reddit to just go <laughs> after the shorts. And you went from a market cap that was really worrisome of about 350 or 370 million all the way up to what is now 2.7 billion in part because they piled into this stock. You know, how does a CEO like you who has very little control over something like that, what was what was that like in January and February when it was spiking and then plummeting? Well, it was certainly interesting to watch. Um, fortunately for us, there, uh, like we kept our eye on the ball, which is managing the business, driving recovery. You'll also remember that in January, AMC announced that we raised one billion two hundred twenty-two million dollars yes. of cash and paid off an additional six hundred million dollars worth of debt, so that we could say with confidence that we're going to work our way through this pandemic. That was a major change for AMC. Uh, as for those Redditors, uh, all I can say is this. Um, there's a lot of affection for AMC as a company across the United States. This is a proud 100-year-old company. Uh, going out to a movie theater is something that people have been doing for a century now. It's the second most popular out-of-home experience in the United States, second only to going out to eat a meal at a restaurant. Uh, and we took all that as a sign that there's a lot of enthusiasm for a return to movie going uh, as A, the population gets vaccinated and B, new movie titles get released. Well, I am personally looking extraordinarily forward to Godzilla versus King Kong. I'm, <laughs> I'm offended you didn't bring that one up, um, Adam, because that to me is... That's quality film. And I'm all for Godzilla. I'm a Godzilla girl. She's I mean, I'm a Godzilla girl. Kong, but, you know. when you go, right? <laughs> you got it. Extra butter. Adam Aaron, thank you so much. And, and we're glad that the weekend went well. Come back again soon. And we're waiting for the 50%. Because it's kind thank of paltry right now, 25%. Anytime. Thanks. Okay. Forget. Wow. Okay. So that was that. <laughs> What happened? It's a Godzilla girl did an interview from your mouth to God's ears. We just saw the CEO of AMC speak, and AMC took a little bit of a hit. Actually, it did not perform beyond uh, what he was able to say. That was wow. We wacky kids are really back at it again. The sub rooms on Reddit and. <laughs> I'm so glad that she's excited for King Kong versus Godzilla. She is a gorilla girl herself. Oh my God! Holy moly! So as you as confirmed, that whoever that interviewer was <laughs> has has spoken from her mouth to God's ears. Holy Toledo! I am confused about exactly what the heck happened. Uh, I uh, have no idea what is uh, is even the point of that conversation. Did he say that in, the movie theaters are open 90%? 90% open? What happened to 25% open? This is fact checkable. Did he mean that 90% of AMC theaters are open? Because that didn't sound like what he said. Oh my god, I'm crying. Like <laughs> uh, that was a plug for just a bunch of movies. I'm so excited for uh, for the Quiet Place Part Two. Thank you, Paramount. I wanted to say uh, thank my sponsor today. Uh, he, not, nowhere did he actually say thank you, Reddit, for uh, actually giving us all of your support. Nowhere did he say uh, where what's up, Moon Platoon. Thank you for giving us all of your money because without it, you would literally have no money as of right now. Um, you actually notice if you guys are, I saw some of you in the live chat notice that Aegea Me actually was rising during that conversation. For some reason, the AMC, uh, the AMC conversation did not make it, make it happen. Oh my lord, that was crazy. Hashtag happy wacky kids. 90% of the theaters are open. She's like, Godzilla gang, I'm a Godzilla girl. Holy moly. 
Oh my god, I wanted to laugh so hard during that conversation. What's going on? So AMC CEO making the rounds. Uh, you like him, you love him, you hate him, you don't like him. It doesn't really matter. He's trying to make a pretty specific case for AMC right now, which is, hey, the theaters are open, uh, which is which is what he's supposed to do. He's honestly the, the biggest uh, hurdle right now between AMC making a, a, a big enough jump in the competition between meme stocks.